In a region of the country better associated with beach weather than ski temperatures, the southern U.S. is struggling to dig out of a powerful winter storm. And because officials are better equipped to respond to hurricanes than snowstorms, residents and governments are doing as best they can. We have geared up uh, by way of resources. The mayor has already outlined that as to what the city has done since 2011 when we had a, a similar storm. Uh, the state has also done that as well through DOT and, uh, of course, here again, calling in the National Guard and the assistance of the State Patrol with the amount of equipment that is out there. We have much more equipment available. Uh, the problem was, though, the equipment could not function with so many people uh, on the roadway and unable to move. Thousands of school children and motorists were stranded all night long in classrooms and freezing cars after a snowstorm of less than three inches paralyzed Atlanta. Helicopters searched for stranded drivers while authorities on the ground worked to deliver food, water and gas to people stuck on the highways. Governor Deal and Atlanta Mayor Kasim Reed acknowledged that storm preparations and the response could have been better, while state officials also blamed forecasts saying conditions wouldn't be so bad. Meanwhile, in Virginia Beach, snow competed with sand, involving almost one foot of accumulation, three-foot drifts, and temperatures in the teens. They had been in the 60s only 48 hours earlier, but at least some are making the best of it. Jill Craig, Associated Press.